Okay, now, I hope that after we talked a little bit about like flex spaces, you are kind of in a state where you say, yeah, okay, I do understand something, but some stuff is also pretty confusing. Um, and that's perfectly understandable. For one, I'm definitely not <laughs> explaining this um, perfectly, but for the other, like, um, we are still not there where you can actually understand the, the full thing, I would say. So to get a little bit deeper, um, remember I said you should always look at those three properties um, together because they kind of belong together. You should not isolate them. So in order to isolate them a little bit and to be able to understand um, what they do um, on their own, let's now look at the shrink and grow property in, in more detail. And for that, we will just always have the same flex basis for those elements and only change um, the shrink or the grow and see what happens. Now, in this first example, what you see is we just have three elements with the same basis and shrink set to one. Now, when you have them um, like that, again, with enough space, nothing actually happens. Now, when I set this to zero, absolutely nothing happens because it kind of doesn't have to shrink yet. It starts to happen when I'm removing space, when the container is getting smaller. And now we can see what happens. Th those elements shrink, they shrink as much as they need. You can also see the text is not getting um, smaller, the font is staying the same, but those elements um, are allowed to shrink and they shrink in the same, uh, by the same proportions. So they shrink in the same, at the same level kind of. Now they don't have a grow set. So what they do is they get to their preferred size, which is 200 pixels. And that's how they um, remain. 